In this video, I will show some basic rules of exponents and how to solve some simple problems. The first thing you want to be able to do is identify what a power looks like. There are two parts in a power, the base and the exponent. The base is, in this problem, the number 3, or it could be a variable, so let's use x for example. So if you have x is your base, and let's say it has an exponent of 2. This whole thing is the power. Now, what it's saying is that the power tells you how many times to multiply the base by itself. So x to the second power, or x squared, would look like x times x. When working with exponents, there are different rules when you're multiplying something to the power of 0 and to the power of 1. Anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So whether you're working with a variable or an actual number, it, if it's raised to the 0 power, it equals 1. So if we have 5 to the 0 power, it's equal to 1. Um, y to the 0 power is 1. 10 to the 0 power is 1. Anything to the first power is itself. So if you have m to the first power, that's equal to to m. Or if you have 2 to the first power, it's equal to 2. Or y to the first power is equal to y. There are two types of multiplication when it comes to multiplying exponents. The first type of multiplication with exponents is raising a power to a power. For example, if we have m squared raised to the seventh power, you have to multiply the two exponents together and you get m to the fourteenth power. Another example would be y to the third raised to the fifth power. You multiply the three and the five and you get y to the fifteenth power. You use this type of multiplication when there is a number or a variable inside of parentheses with an exponent being raised to another exponent outside of the parentheses. The second type of multiplication is when you have to multiply and add the exponents. So for example, if we have m squared times m to the seventh, you add the two and the seven and you get m to the ninth power. To do this type of multiplication, the they must have like bases. So if you're doing, um, let's say, y to the third times y to the tenth, the the two variables variables must be the same to do it, and you will get y to the thirteenth power because you add the three and the ten. To finish this up, I will do some practice examples to review what I have talked about in the video so far. In the first problem here, we have 8 to the negative 14th power times 8 to the tenth, negative 10th power. So this is the addition of multiplication. So you have to add negative 14 plus negative 10, and you get 8 to the negative 24 power. In the next problem over here, you have to do the raise the power to a power, but what you have to do is raise everything inside the parentheses to the exponent of 3. So that will look like 6 to the third, w, and then you have to multiply 6 and 3 together to get w to the 18th power. Now, you're able to do 6 to the third power, so you do 6 times 6. 6, which is equal to 216. Now you put it back together and you have 216 w to the 18th power as your final answer. Now for this problem you have to do the addition from multiplication again. So we keep the bases because they're the same 
and you add 3 plus 4, so you get 5 to the 7th power as your final answer. Now for the last one here, we have 4x to the 0 power, and I had said that anything raised to the 0 power is 1, so in this only the x is being raised to the 0 power, so the final answer is 4, because um, 4 times 1 is 4, so 4 is your final answer.